All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, let's talk about defense. I want to talk about this with you guys because a lot of people feel like right now it's almost impossible to play defense, and I'm not going to lie to you. If you play against the right person, it is nearly impossible to play defense. You got to stay disciplined. You got to just, I don't know, man. It's like you can't play defense the way that we used to play defense. You literally have to make a complete change every in, in everything and that's cool because you know the way that it was in the beginning i suppose it was a little bit od because anybody could play defense all they did was just spam just swing 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 did you know that's all they was doing just swinging and swiping and they weren't playing any positional defense they wasn't doing anything my problem with the whole thing is like now that that's gone even if i do play very good positional defense i still can't do anything and like and that's what it feels like and a lot of people are thinking that same way especially my boy coyote we're gonna let him talk we're gonna let him talk about his thing how he feels what you know everything that uh that's going on in the game vent his frustrations all that good stuff man and we're gonna talk about that but i promise y'all i can show y'all how to play defense i can make you better i can do this we can go you can enroll in lockdown university we bring in lockdown university bite chat the ldu is coming back uh, like i said I, got, I feel like i got one of the best lockdown bills in the game i wish he could get a little bit more blocking but then i wouldn't have as much speed but the whole point of this thing is this uh, we bringing it back we got the lockdown line my boy Shaq is designing that thing right now and if y'all want me to drop videos and tutorials on how to play better defense i promise you i got y'all i've been in the lab with brute been in the lab with gambit been playing offline and they, they those guys got me right those are defensive gurus i'm just the one that put it in a in a digestible package to bring to you guys so if y'all interested in that let me know man but like i said my boy coyote he want to talk we about to let him talk so uh you know what i'm saying we just got to get right into it let him talk and then we go we gonna go from there man so like i said the gist of everything that he's saying is he's just saying he's venting his frustration about how he's locking people up in the game but i can't do anything so it's just like he's not man like i said let's just bring him up i'm about to uh bring him up bring him over i thought i i thought i did this the right way i said i thought i did it the right way hey did i nope i sure did bro my bad coyote I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. I could have sworn that I did this right, but I didn't. So I apologize to you. Apologies to you. And uh, here we go. Behind the screen. I mean, y'all could put it in the game that a person. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're gonna begin at the beginning. Let's begin. Losing stamina. Okay. Like, look how I, I was smothering that man defensively. He won't lose the ball. He don't lose no stamina. He still have enough to shoot with. Okay. I mean, he's zigzagging back and forth behind the screen. I mean, y'all could put it in the game that a person could, his his teammate could actually contest his own shot. By now, that might be a little low deep. You could put it in the game that he can, his teammate could be pushed into him and he lose the ball or he stumble and trip and lose the ball. Like, like come on, man. Look look at that game. It's just one stream. Look at the, look, like, look at the shit that, like, that ain't basketball, man. Now Let's go on to his next one, man. We're gonna go on to his next one. Talking about no fucking blocks and steals. Mm. Okay, ain't nobody ever complained and say the steals ain't good enough. The blocks ain't good enough. Now last year the blocks weren't good enough, but that's only because the slashing was too goddamn strong. When people say defense, we talking about defense on guard and that shit. Shit out of here, nigga. Okay, like blocked by James. Impossible. It's gonna be 50 years. Y'all yeah, gonna go multiple other 2Ks with the same shit in the game, man. Like, look at how I'm sticking defense on this man. Crushing defense. And he, he, you can't touch him. Fucking force steal, fellas. Nobody talking about no I, fucking I, I, Last and but not least. Especially when it comes to guarding like dribble cheers. And you can't do nothing to stop him. This is why a lot of tournaments and stuff is boring as shit. Ooh, drop is, facts, boy. And watch the, the point guard just dribble like crazy. Like, like, look at my defense. Look, just watch that one stream. Tell me and everybody there, y'all can throw an idea or a hint in there or some way to stop that shit. Okay, they're, they're clipping their dribble moves. They're not losing stamina. How do you expect people to guard it? Even a lockdown can't guard it. 
Now, that was just my guy, Coyote. He was just venting his frustration. He had played an entire game of Pro-Am, and he felt like he could, like, I'm, I'm D'ing the dude up, I'm doing everything that I possibly can, but I can't make a difference as much as I want to in the game. Now, like I said, uh, pushing people into each other, now I ain't gonna lie to that would be, even though that would be cool, I know they can't do something like that just because of the, the, the thing in the game, but everything else that he's talking about as far as the clipping, uh, the dribble moves, the not use, losing stamina, all that good stuff, man, all that stuff is correct. It feels like it's just not possible to defend people the way that you want to. Now, we had the steals, like I said. I just felt like the steals wasn't, were an equalizer or whatever like that. And uh, it just is what it is. But right now, man, the only way you can play this game and try to do something is just, just be super methodical, just like how we doing right here. Me brute, me and uh, Brute lagged out the game, and and me and uh, what was, what's my boy named Dre, we out here playing defense. This dude is an ISO guy. Obviously, he's a good player because he, he scored 10 points a game. He had, what, 64 win percentage or something like that. I mean, he's not a bad player. He's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. He's a short guy. He's an ISO guy. And it's like I'm able to play defense on him, but the way that I got to play defense on him is really just make him take a bad shot or just stick to him and just piss him off or whatever like that because – it's like I can't take the ball, I can't play defense as effectively as I want to, and I can't really do everything that I would like to defensively. I definitely understand the sentiment, and it really does feel like that in this game. Like, like we said, we we play the game, and we've taken. It's like they, they. It's almost like they've taken our ability to play defense away or make a difference. You know, playing defense. Now he finally gets a shot up. After he, I mean, he's super tired, finally gets a shot up on the walk back. I mean, look at how desperate you got to be taking a walk back from half court and, and me and Dre just out here hooping. We playing what resembles basketball and you just dribble teasing. And like he said, that's why that's why a lot of people don't watch the tournaments or don't go, don't you know what I'm saying? They don't have no interest in the comp scene and stuff like that. They just don't because it's just like, you're just watching the same person dribble back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and do everything like that, bro. It's not really, it doesn't resemble basketball. Like I said, what we're doing, it does resemble basketball. And like, like I said, a lot of these, a lot of these things that I'm able to do to him, it's just because I talked to Brute, talked to Gambit, and and they talked, they showed me some better ways of playing defense, like this right here, this hip ride and all this stuff. I mean, obviously, like, let's just look at this sequence. I got him right here. He inbounds the ball. I line myself up, and I'm here. I know where he's going. I take a, I take a stab right here because I know that hey if he takes this you know i could take a stab and then he got to run into me now he runs into me it's like i'm glued to him for the remainder of the possession i'm here the whole time like you don't have anywhere to go he still takes a shot with the basketball all that good stuff but it's just there there literally is a technique to defending this year and it sucks it really does suck because it's like like you have to give up something but what you have to give up you may not be willing to give up and all of that good stuff but even with all of the good defense all i can do is bait him into taking a bad shot i can't take the ball i cannot punish him for playing lackluster offense like look at this like like the walk back that's all he could do and i was still there i mean i would argue that i was down the walk back he just got a, a a super fast jump shot or whatever so you know it is what it is i'm not i'm not mad at that but look it's just a stifling defense and and he can still do that. Like, and I'm not talking about that part of the possession. I'm talking about, look at this, look at this part of the possession right here. Dude can't even get to the screen. Like he can't even get the ball up court. You can't even get to the screen. There's nothing I can do here. What am I meant to do? I'm at his mercy. He's not picking the ball up. There's nothing going on. And it's just like, like, like what am I meant to do in a situation like that? You're because ultimately I am at his mercy. But like I said, you gotta give him some, um, you know, he got smothered the whole game. Dre takes us home. Uh, you know, sun's out, guns out, and it's just, it's just, it's just insane that, and, and we beat them guys with an AI and he averaged ten. But the whole point is, like I said, look, this, this is the, uh, I mean, I didn't mean to turn it on. Sorry about that. Uh, this is the whole point right here, bro. Like, look, so he ends, he ends the game one for nine, one for six. Like I said, I'm not gonna be like he, he the greatest player or nothing like that. But, but that's what y'all probably gonna say in the comment section. But he averaged ten. Who averages ten? He gotta be pretty good. The whole point is. And he stayed like a he stayed like a real guy. He didn't quit, he didn't quit or nothing like that. But the whole point is, even though I felt like I played what was stifling defense that game, the only thing, the only way I was really able to make a difference was to just make him take bad shots. I can't take the ball. I can't force him to pick it up and scare him into throwing an interception. It's so difficult to really do anything on defense in this game. And so I understand it because when that's the only thing that you can do, it's really hard to stay disciplined and be like Darrell Revis. And I don't do nothing spectacular. I just make you work for every single 
thing that you get or that you have. That's all I do. I don't do nothing spectacular, nothing special. And then you can be probably be the best because of it, because you know you just you, you make people mad after a while, man. But uh, you know, uh, that's it, man. Listen, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Does there need to be more reward for playing defense? And most of the time, they still hit those shots even when it's 28, 30%, 30 percent. They still be hitting those shots, man. So it's really crazy, um, you know, what, what can happen in these games. But I just feel like the steals were the only way to really balance it out. But now, you know, we don't even got no steals no more. And that's cool. I get it. They had to do it because, you know, a lot of people couldn't even play the game because of the spam and the steal and stuff. So they had to tone them down. But I don't know what else they could do to make us feel more, more satisfied on defense. Like it was satisfying. And now just stifling people is satisfying. But it's like when, when people run out there and you try to throw your hand up and stuff like that, they still might hit a 30 percenter in your face and then you're going to be mad. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Also, come by the stream, man. I'll be streaming on Twitch and YouTube today. Like I said, you can't play defense. You can't stifle people, but it's just not as rewarding. You don't feel as rewarding anymore just because like, I can't take the ball from nobody. And I can't really take the chance to try to take the ball from you, except for in very specific situations because you know you're gonna get burned so you know it is what it is but like i said we're gonna be opening up lockdown university for y'all man we got some got some good videos for y'all i'm gonna show y'all exactly what i'm doing what i'm thinking and all this stuff and all these videos i'm gonna holler at y'all next time man till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Guys,